kundi ang babaeng pinakamaganda sa Malta, Pinay, expat, and Malta. Thank you, Sisi. At pinaunlakan mo ko, o di ba ang lakas ko sa'yo, pinaunlakan mo kong makakolab ka. Kaya I'm happy, I'm happy na napapayag kita talaga. Dream ko talaga na makakolab ka, alam mo yun. Una pa lang, sinasabi ko na sa'yo yan, di ba, na idol kita at sobra-sobrang na-inspired ako sa'yo kasi sobra sa ganda mo, sexy mo, napakabait mo at napaka-down to earth mong tao. Kaya, kaya guys, please samahan nyo kami hanggang matapos sa tanungan at sagutan namin Pinay, Expat, and Malta. Hello, Ate Gang Cooking! Well, tonight I feel a little bit nervous because I'm gonna do a collaboration with you. Oh yeah! But I'd like to thank you for this opportunity to get to know me better! So, but hey, let me ask you questions. Why is it in English? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna answer you in Taglish, if you don't mind. Sure not. So, shall we start? Okay. Who is Pinay expat in Malta in real life? First question, who is Pinay expat in Malta in real life? Well, that's a good question. But before I answer that, let me introduce to you myself first. My real name is Emily. And I'm a mother. Yeah, I have a son, but he's in the Philippines right now. Well, if you talk about, if you ask about my character, I think I'm my kind-hearted person. Well, I prioritize my family. I love my family. I love my son. I'm not a fussy person. Yeah, I'm Kalog. I'm I'm not Marty. Maybe yeah, I won't go out without lipstick because it's my thing. Yeah. Since I've started using lipstick from that from then on, you won't let me go out without lipstick. I can also say that I'm a social introvert person. I'd rather stay at home, spend myself at home, you know, or I'll go out with just few friends, with few buddies. I hate the crowd. I don't know why, but I hate the crowd. I'm not perfect. I do mistakes. And, well, I'm a flexible person. I'm an open-minded, yeah, I'm funny, I'm, I'm fun to be with. You have no problem with me. You know, I'm, I can go anywhere, just give me some time to prepare myself. I'm an indecisive person. Yeah, for me, it's hard for me to decide. I think that's the Libran. I think most of the Librans are like that. I'm a moody person. I love to travel. I love um, photography. And well, in the whole, I'm an easygoing person. So, um, you have no problem with me. 
What kind of daughter and sister? Spinai, expat in Malta. Second question. What kind of daughter and sister is Pinay expert in Malta? Well, as a daughter, it's sad to say that I was still young when my mom died. Um, so I can't really tell how I was as a, as a, as a daughter, but um, I'm sure I was obedient. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I obeyed them most of the time. Okay, it's normal for us. Like, I reasoned out sometimes. I, I used to reason out. You know why I said I'm obedient? Because I study, I've studied well. I used to go to school um, every day. I didn't want to miss a day to go to school well it could be because also my parents um, raised us like that and I was stubborn sometimes but I think being a kid it's just normal so but then I really consider myself as a, a loving daughter I was close to my mother. Well, although we lived a simple life, but we really have a close family ties, you know? And my mom was one of the best mother. And as a daughter, and what I mean is, as a sister as well, um, I think as a sister, I'm sweet, um, because I'm the youngest of, we were, we are seven, and I'm the sixth, well, I'm the youngest of four sisters, and Okay. Um, lately, I don't talk to them that much because I've been busy on YD, but otherwise we are very close and <laughs> um, I can tell that I worry them sometimes because they want to know how I am, you know, um, like I have my sister in Australia and in the USA and I have also my sister in the Philippines and she is the one that is taking care of my son. So they worried about me. But just to send them just a message, just to tell them that I'm fine. Okay, then they will tell me as long as you're fine, that's good. Just be careful. So, yeah, I'm a jealous sister sometimes as well, but I'm I'm sweet to them. I love them. I love my sisters and brothers. I love my siblings. So, well, I just wish that we'll be together again. That's how I wish. Because I miss them so much. And I love them. Three, what kind of friend is Pinay expat in Malta? Number three question. What kind of friend is Pinay expat in Malta? Well, as a friend, nothing is better than sharing. Yeah, I'm generous. I love to share with my friends whatever I can offer but I'm a person that if you treat me good I'll treat you better let me give you an example if a friend of mine offers me a cappuccino then I'll offer her a meal 
yeah, that's how I am. And I try to be fair as possible. I hate, I don't like, um, trouble. <laughs> if possible, I like to bring good vibes. Um, and also, I like to, I mean, you, as a friend, you can, if you tell me problems, I'm here, I'm willing to listen, and if I can help, if I can help you solve your problems, then I can, I can help you as much as I can, I will help you. But um, if you're with me, if you have problems, don't tell me all your problems because I will get crazy. <laughs> That's how I am. If possible, I want to um, to have fun. Yeah. That's me. Or where did you meet your husband? Fourth question is Where did you meet your husband? Well, way back 2011 I met him through dating online also you need <laughs> five what kind of life do you have number five question what kind of life do you have ati gang simply lang ang buhay ko oo nga nandito ko sa abroad but I'm living a simple life with my honey bunch Wala nga akong trabaho eh. I'm jobless. Only my husband is working. So, well, I used to work as a child carer. But I stopped just a few months ago. So, I'm living a simple life. Number six. What are those things you want to do in life? Six question. What are those things you want to do in life? Well, I have so many things in my mind. I want to take a makeup course or photography and even Maltese language. I need to learn because when I apply for a job, I think they um, it is uh, one of the qualification. Well, I didn't bother. I've been here for eight years, but I didn't bother at all because when I used to work at the child care center and well, they speak English. We speak English. We we teach um, children, the kids, um, in English. So really, I didn't bother. But now they told us it, it is really necessary that at least we we know Maltese basic basic Maltese language. And well, I want to go to the Philippines. I want to see my family, especially my son. I want to I want to go shopping with him as soon as this pandemic is over. I want to go there. I want to see my son, my son badly. And oh nga pala, meron din ako gusto i meet in person. At siguro naman, alam nyo na yun kung sino siya. Mm -mm. <laughs> Guess who? Number seven. What are you looking forward in life? 
Seven question. What are you looking forward in life? Well, so many things that I I look forward. It's like, you know, I look forward to to travel. Yeah, to travel around Europe. I want to visit my sister in the USA and also my sister in in Australia. I want to go there. Since I I didn't see them for a while now and I look forward also to 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 see their place, you know. I wish I could. And I look forward to to settle to settle in the Philippines. I look forward to settle in the Philippines. Well, I want to live in the Philippines with my sister, with my family. She's my family and my youngest brother. I have my two brothers in Manila, but they are settled already. They have their house there. But my sister that that is taking care of my son um really i want to help her i want to live there because i want her to to be with me and of course my son i want my son to be to, i want my son to be with me yeah and i look forward to to have a business there if god's will number eight what are those bad memories in life you cannot forget ever? Number eight question. What are those bad memories in you can't forget ever? Oh, this is um, a sad question. When both my parents passed away, well, those are the worst memories I have ever encountered when they passed away. My mom was in coma for almost a month. She was at the hospital and it was really, well, was really hard to accept you know and my father suffered from diabetes they gone too soon we were devastated me and my siblings and it was like it was like the end of the world for us it was really painful And luckily, I have my elder sisters and brothers. They are the one who guided us, who guided me and my brother, my youngest brother, and supported, supported us, you know. Well, so we slowly recovered from that nightmare number nine do you have some embarrassing moments in life if yes what is is and why nine question do you have an embarrassing moment in life if yes what is it and why well, who doesn't have an embarrassing moment? I think all of us. But mine was exceptional. <laughs> Ganito lang naman yun. Um, I went to the airport in Manila to... I was gonna travel to Malta without a visa. Well, pumila lang naman ako ng pagkahaba-haba kasi that time, um, 
There was a former president Arroyo. She was also traveling to to Hong Kong, I think. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. And so there were a lot of people at the airport. There was a uh, chaos and sobrang haba ng pila ko. Well, I knew it from the start na hindi ako papayagan mag-travel. I know um, they won't allow me to travel because um, I, I know that, I knew that Malta is part of Shenzhen country. So, and it wasn't my first time. I have traveled China and even China, they need visa. And Thailand, yes, they don't need visa. But, um, but still, I went to the airport. Well, just to prove to my boyfriend that I was serious of coming here. So, yun nga. Pumila ako ng pagkabahaba and then I was denied. So, yak-yak ako dun. Tinawagan niya ako. Worried naman siya sa akin. Sabi ko, hindi ako pinayagan. But anyway, I knew it and and I explained to him. Kasi nga, sabi naman niya na, no, you can you go to the airport, just uh, bring your passport and your ticket with you. And that's it. And then you'll have visa upon arrival. <laughs> but he was wrong. Well, he had no idea about it. So, well, I was embarrassed because people were staring at me. But anyway, it was fun at the same time. Mm. I wanted to go to Manila at the time as well. So, well, after uh, maybe uh, in two days, I, I get back to I get back to my province, and well, it was charged of experience. And until now, I I think for the rest of my life, I will never forget that uh, embarrassing experience. <laughs> Number ten. What is your purpose? You entered in YT World. Ten question. What's your purpose? You entered. In YT world, well, we all know that YT is so much fun. Yeah, I'm having fun in YT world, and I love taking videos. I love photography, and I want to share my travel experience to the whole world. And some of my random videos and the reason is that I want to make money <laughs> and I want to be famous well who knows someday we all be famous fingers crossed then <laughs> what is your first impression to me 11 question what is your first impression to me at again cooking i think you are a strong woman yeah i like you being frank a straightforward person you know um you say what you want to say was in your heart and your your you're a kind-hearted person i know that you're friendly and well you are very expressive if you want to say something was in your mind you say it and you're real so stay as you are stay being real and just be yourself always think positive and well I find you sexy 
being real, being um, straight forward, being kind, and stay what you're doing, keep yourself healthy, sexy, and well, more power to you at the gang cooking. You're the best. So ayan ati gang, natapos na din ang ating question and answer portion. I hope nagustuhan mo ang aking mga kasagutan sa mga tanong mo. And I think this is the start of our friendship. Mabuhay ka ati gang. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Pinay Expat in Malta or Emily CC. Thank you, thank you so much sa uh, love and support mo sa akin. Thank you so much kasi na-touch ako sa kung ano ko para sa iyo. Na-touch talaga ako kasi alam mo una pa lang eh una pa lang nakita kita. Napakagaan na din talaga ng loob ko sa iyo. Alam mo 'yan. Kaya nga lagi kitang shout out At natutuwa ako sa'yo. Uh, alam mo yan. Alam mo yan na, na lagi lang din ako nandito para sa'yo. Naka-supporta at naka-love and support sa'yo. Sisi, alam mo yan. Kaya nga sisi love, diba? Um, thank you, thank you so much. Sobrang hindi ko alam kung anong mapipil ko. Kasi na isang expat in Malta o Emily, eh, ganun yung dating para sa kanya ano ko ang para sa sayo alam yun sobra sobra akong natutuwa sobra sobra talaga akong natutuwa alam mo yan nung pagkakuha ko pa lang ng video na sinend mo sa akin yung mga video na yan eh tears of joy kasi alam mo kung gaano kita iniidolo alam mo kung gaano kita gaano ko na inspired sa iyo alam mo yan at hinahanga ang kita sa sa taglay mong kung anong meron ka kasi napaka down to earth mo rin tao at prang ka mo rin alam mo yon na napakabait mo sobra sobrang napakabait mo kung alam lang nila kahit na hindi pa tayo nagmi-meet personally hindi tayo more on chit chat alam mo yon na once na nag chat naman tayo eh Halos hindi maubos ang kwentuhan. Alam mo yan. Kaya thank you, thank you so much talaga sa'yo. Sa love and support mo sa akin At binilang mo ko. Binilang mo kong kaibigan mo. Thank you, thank you talaga. Hindi ko kasi ine-expect na ganun yung dating ko para sa'yo. Na ganun mo din pala tinitreasure yung pagkakaibigan na meron tayo. Na nabuo na dito sa Whitey World. Kaya... Hopeful and pray na mamit din kita in person. Alam mo yon. Hindi man jan sa lugar mo, maybe in the Philippines na kapag umuwi ka o umuwi ako, eh mag-meet tayo someday. I hope and I pray that na mamit ko ang isang expat and Pinay expat in Malta. Kaya thank you, thank you so much talaga sa'yo. Hindi ako magsasawang magpasalamat talaga sa'yo. At sa inyo ni Makisig na Naging close lang din ako at nakilala ko si Makisig nang dahil lang din sa iyo. Kaya thank you, thank you din talaga sa iyo kasi nandiyan din kayong dalawa na nakasuporta sa akin. Even na si Makisig, hindi niya talaga ako kilala pa. Nakilala lang niya ako nang dahil lang din sa iyo. Kaya thank you, thank you so much talaga sa iyo, Sisi. The best ka. Ikaw ang number one para sa akin. Alam mo yan. Na lagi ko naman sa iyo sinasabi na napaka sweet at napakatunay na tao na hindi mo makikita ang kakemehan sa buhay. Natural lang. Natural lang. Kaya, mas maganda rin lang din naman na maging natural lang din tayo sa buhay, ba diba? Kaya, yan ang sinasabi ko sa'yo lagi na be proud kung anong meron tayo, ba diba? 
Kaya thank you, thank you talaga sa iyo. Hindi ko alam kung paano ako magpapasalamat na kasi isang expert in math, eh ganun ang impact ko para sa iyo. Alam mo 'yun, naiiyak ako. Alam mo 'yun, 'di ba? Yung pag-send ko pa lang ng send mo pa lang ng video eh, sinabi ko sa iyo, naiiyak ako sa message mo sa akin. Kaya Thank you, thank you talaga. Thank you talaga sa'yo. Kaya, sa lahat na nandyan, thank you, thank you so much. At sinamahan nyo kami ni Pinay Expat in Malta sa gabing ito. Thank you sa mga nag-stay at hindi pag-iwan sa amin. Thank you, thank you sa mga laging nandyan na nakasuporta at love para sa akin. At hindi ako iniwan sa laban na to, sa journey na to, na nandyan lagi kayo na nandiyan lagi kayo nakasuporta na walang sawang pagsusuporta na nandiyan lang nandiyan lang sa likod ko nandiyan sa tabi ko na nakasuporta sa akin kaya thank you sa admin Jedin Eleanor at Wid Isabela thank you so much at kay Damads of San Diego thank you thank you so much sa idea na to uh, credit to para din sa iyo credit din to para sa iyo. Kaya guys, please support her uh uh, uh ano ba yun? Uh, her uh, pamasko, kwentong Pasko. Kaya mag-join na kayo kasi alam ko naman lahat naman tayo eh may mga magagandang kwentong Pasko, hindi lang malungkot na Pasko. More on, mas maraming magandang kwentong Pasko. Kaya guys, share na naman na natin at uh, support naman natin si Damads of San Diego kasi napaka-supportive din naman niya para sa atin. Gabi-gabi rin naman siya na nandyan na nakasuporta sa ating mga premiere, sa ating mga live stream at nilalaro ang ating na mga harang sa mga monetized channel. Kaya thank you, thank you so much Damads of San Diego. Uh, lagi mong tandaan, nandito lang din naman ako, lagi para sa iyo isang tawag mo, isang chat mo lang sa akin, nandyan ako para sa'yo at never kitang iiwan hindi tulad ng iba na lagi akong iniiwan, alam mo yan ba? Diba? kaya okay lang okay lang dun sa mga taong tumalikod siguro hindi talaga ganun ang friendship namin, kaya ganun na lang din bumitaw alam mo yon. hindi mo naman kasi mapiplease yung mga taong kung ayaw sa di ba? Hindi mo mapi-please kaya okay lang. Thank you. Kasi naging part kayo ng aking buhay, naging part kayo ng aking white world. Kaya thank you so much. Kasi tinitreasure ko naman yung kahit anong pagtalikod na ginawa ninyo sa akin. Kaya thank you, thank you so much sa inyong lahat. Ito sa ating game cooking na nagsasabi ng love, smile, care to all of you. GGG!